Now, Graham, take a deep draught of the old rosé and tell us, my friend, original sin. What do you have? This is... I, honestly, I only very recently confessed this to my mother. Because when I was about seven, eight, didn't want to go to school, mm -hmm. so feigned illness, um, I'm going, ow, tummy ache. So my mother went, fine, don't go to school, stay there. We'll go to the doctor. Oh. And I'm thinking, oh, shit. She'd already done this to my sister. <gasps> doctor said, don't waste my time with this stupid child. A big row. So we go to the doctor, and he's, you know, examining me, and I'm going, ow. And uh, <laughs> he goes, uh, you need to sit in the waiting room. Sit in the waiting room. So I'm sitting in the waiting room, thinking, this is awful. He's in there now telling my mother there's nothing wrong with me. I'm going to get in such trouble. Come back in. You've got something called appendicitis. <laughs> And so next week, you'll be going into hospital <gasps> to have your appendix out. Oh. So now I'm thinking, I am really fucked, because... Because either I have an operation that I don't need, or I tell this doctor that I, there's nothing wrong with me, and then I've got two very angry adults in the room. So had the operation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. You were prepared to have one of your internal organs removed <laughs> just for the sake of that lie. You've got to commit, I always feel. Yeah. And that's the mistake a lot of children make. <laughs> they don't commit to their lives. <laughs> Also, I was keeping people employed. Yeah. Job creator. Yeah, the NHS, they're not busy enough. You know? <laughs> <laughs>